Everyone, you know, not many athletes get to celebrate a moment like this, a national championship. Last year, Thomas Moore got that opportunity, but tonight it's like it never happened. The NCAA stripped the women's basketball team of their first national title. The school broke the rules and they owned up to it. But some say the hammer came down a bit too hard. Local 12 Sydney Venter is here now with how the students feel about that. Sydney. Rob, during the 2014-2015 school year, star basketball player Sydney Moss injured her knee. After surgery, a former assistant coach let her live with his family for free. Even though Moss and the coach have a long-standing mentor-mentee relationship, the arrangement was against NCAA rules. I was there in attendance for the first national championship. Uh, the tears that were shed and all the happiness and joy, and that's something to be ripped away from them. It's absolutely horrible. The women who won the college's first national championship in a team sport couldn't have known at the time their hard-earned trophy would be taken from them. They've since won a second national title, but that seems little consolation for fans who think they've been robbed of their first. I think it's really unfortunate. Mm -hmm. They, the team worked really hard for those titles. It's not just this one person, and I think it's kind of unfair to the whole team that this happened. Championship MVP Sydney Moss isn't personally culpable, but the fact that she was living with a former assistant coach for eight months while recovering from surgery is a violation. The NCAA says because the staff members did not recognize the arrangement as an extra benefit, the student athlete competed an entire season while ineligible. We basically made a mistake of interpreting a bylaw. And based on that and based on what uh, the NCAA Committee on Infractions has decided, we are going to move forward, we will get better, and we will become a leader in compliance for Division Three rules and regulations with the NCAA. Moving on is hard to do, especially for students who see the penalty as an injustice. I think that's an absolute travesty, the fact that we're going to get hit with that hard of a sanction when there's other schools that have done much worse and get so much less. Now, President Armstrong says the NCAA received an anonymous tip in February of 2015 and school administrators weren't notified about the possible violation until seven months later. He says the violation wasn't deliberate and the college fully cooperated with the NCAA investigation. Rob. Sydney, thanks very much. The team is also on probation for two years and the school must pay a $2,500 fine. Brad Steinke will have more on the sanctions coming up a bit later in sports.